Extreme Sports, what's the deal? This is the PowerPoint that goes along with the packet that we gave out when school closed. These were the names of the articles that were in the packet, uh, which also were given out. Your uh, hard copies were left in the office and sent home, and also digital electronic copies were uploaded to our Google Classroom. Uh, the module <clears throat> itself was developed to take about uh, three, in this case, probably three to four weeks of class time. And you were going to, the module explores the function of rhetoric in expository prose and fosters students' abilities to generate a rhetorical claim and support it with relevant references. So you're going to make a claim about this whole idea of the difference between being cautious or taking risk. And you're going to you know, back up your claim with evidence from one of the texts we've read in the unit, uh, from your own personal experience and your general observations of the world. Um, <clears throat> also, you're going to be asked to annotate and analyze uh, the relevance of, spe of specific references. So, you know, when you find a reference, you're going to have to make it relevant to the topic of what you're writing about. And the unit ends or culminates with students generating or writing an essay based on a quote regarding risk taking. And then the subsequent or the instruction, the teaching that follows that uh, will be focused on revising the essay to improve its focus, its content, which is what it says, and its organization, which is the way that it's put together. Module background. Extreme sports pique our interest in many ways. We marvel at the risk participants take and the uncertainty of the outcome. We question who came up with these crazy ideas and we ask ourselves, would I ever be able to do something like that? This unit explores what may motivate people to take, to take such risks. Students will explore various types of extreme sports and the accompanying risk associated with these activities. In the world's most dangerous sports, Claire Davidson discusses the qualifications for a sport to be considered extreme and provides multiple examples of such sports with statistics such as cost and location. Jones, in the article A Solemn Morning for Wingsuit Flyers, uses ethos in conjunction with information and statistics about the dangers of wingsuit flying, in particular the flight that claimed Jeffrey Robson's life. Students will analyze opposing viewpoints regarding participation in extreme sports. In the article, Extreme Sports Not About Risk-Taking Study, Eric Brimmer explores the concept <clears throat> of whether adrenaline junkies are the ones drawn to such activities, while camp are the only ones drawn to such activities, while Camp for Kids with Autism offers extreme therapy by John Donvan offers surprising benefit of participation in extreme sports for autistic children. Donvan uses testimony to support findings that support that such participation can aid autistic children's ability to cope with their world. So here's our objectives. We're trying to be able to annotate a text with a purpose, mark up a text with a purpose, identify counter arguments and their role in effective writing, so in other words, looking at the other side of the issue to prove that your points are true and that you have a stronger argument and analyze the effect that loaded words and phrases have on an argument. We're also trying to analyze the structure and format of documents, evaluate the importance of an appropriate tone or attitude in your writing or in your exposition, which is writing. Or, and evaluate the effect of various forms of ethos, pathos, logos, which are the uh, rhetorical appeals that we learned uh, before, earlier in the school year. We're also going to create organized research notes.